Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Lonnie here again. As you can see, we've got the welding table in the picture, so that means we're going to continue adding stuff to make it more my own. As you can see, I've already got the electrical plug right here on the side, so I can plug up my stuff without having to run 1,500 cords across. Uh, today, we're going to build a swing out stool, so I can sit here while I'm doing my work, you know, we all want to be a little bit lazy. Uh, anyhow, I've seen a couple of YouTube videos of people building these. Uh, it will attach to the leg over here, but I'm going to make it to where I can take it off and put it over on my work wall uh, in the shop here. Uh, one gentleman used some round pipe for the main uh, structure of the stool itself. Uh, another one used some, I think it was two inch by half inch uh, flat stop. I'm going to use his method, but I'm going to use uh, two inch by three eighths flat stop. So with that being said, let's get some tools put up here, get the saw put up here so we can get to cutting some metal. First thing we gotta do is get a measurement of our brace right here, our leg. That way we can be able to bolt to this. So let's see what we need. We've got, uh, we're gonna go with 17, yeah, 17 inches. We've got 17 inches we can mess with. That way it'll be, it'll be below the shelf so I can still open up the shelf while I'm sitting here. So let's get us a piece of angle iron cut at 17 inches. Alright, before we ever get started doing any kind of project, remember, gotta use safety first people. Get you some safety glasses, your earmuffs, your gloves. If you want to be able to do this stuff for years, you better get you some ear protection or else you're not going to hear the wife hollering at you. Look at those, may not need, yeah, get you some earmuffs. All right, let's get this measured out for 17 inches. Alright guys, we're going to put some marks on here so we can drill some holes. I've already marked the other side of this, so we're just going to set these ones on an offset. So we're going to have a total of five bolts that are going to be holding this. Alright folks, we got the piece of angle iron cut and drilled, 17 inches. Drill three holes on one side, two holes on the, on the other side as you can see. Five bolts are going to be plenty enough to hold this up. What we got to do now is we got to cut the tabs off for the hinge mechanism. We're going to have two of them. We're going to cut the hinges are going to be an inch and a half. We'll round the edges over. So let's get those cut. All right, we got some three eighths thick by two inch wide. Fits the measure out three inches.
got the pieces all cut out. As you can see, I've got my, this will be the top piece. This is the bottom piece that all comes together. I don't have no finger brake in my press, so I just took a little cut right through here, bent it over. It's not cut all the way through, as you can see. Uh, I was trying to use these tabs, but I had it a little clo too close to the uh, frame, and it wouldn't allow the seat to swing all the way. So I was trimming this off, and I thought, well, I'll just cut two more tabs and scoot it away further. So that's what I've done there. So now we're going to get this welded up. It will have a couple more braces inside of here. So let me get all this welded up, and then we'll come back.
All right, this is actually the next day. I finished this up last night. As you can see, I've got my stuff set up. I'm just gonna do some editing. Uh, actually gonna edit this video. This is the stool. As you can see, I mounted it right there. It's got five bolts. Two on this and three on this. The other third one's down there. Works really great. Swings all the way to there. That's plenty. Also shuts. It's about the perfect height for me. Uh, I could actually use it maybe, maybe, I don't know, two inches lower, but other, it, it'll work. It, it'll work great for me. Uh, as you can see, I've been doing a lot of work in the shop. Getting a lot of stuff situated. Got all of my, uh, I guess you'd call it metal working tools, grinders, and all that good jazz. Uh, along the back wall back there. I've got my fan saw over here. Got my stash of metal over here to the side. All my motors uh, that I use for my mower builds and stuff like that. Uh, sandblaster, wash table over there, drill press. And as you can see, I've got the plasma over on this side. Now I've got the dry cut saw over on this side. Got the middle area clear so my legs can get underneath there and prop up. But anyhow, guys, uh, I just wanted to show you all uh, what it looked like after I got done. I did go ahead and also, I don't know if I've already said this in a video, but I added a plug-in to the uh, work table too. Uh, it's just a long stretch of cord. I got it stretched over here and then I can plug it up at any one of my 12 outlets. Actually, I've got more than 12. I've got about 15 in this shop. Plenty enough for me, so. Anyhow, guys, uh, if you found this video interesting, um, give it a thumbs up, share it. Like I said, this is not my original design. Uh, I got this off of Jimbo's Garage and someone else. Both of, both of those links will be down in the video's description. So uh, God bless each and every one of y'all. Until next time, have a great day.